Salam everyone, hello and welcome, this is Aya. to try shrink foam by graphics with the resin yes you heard me right I'm gonna try it with the resin I tried it before uh, but I didn't you know film a tutorial and I used a shrink film but this one is a metallic this is silver and gold you see as I used it uh, but this time I want to use a the one with a design. So we have two here, one by uh, Bolzer Design and the other one with the Gina Lee uh, design, Gina Lee Cam Design. So let me show you here the design. So we have here the nautical one, which I really love. Space and succulents and some feathers. And the other one, <clears throat> uh, like art supplies, doodling, let's say. <laughs> <laughs> and eyes and these fun stuff. Just let me show you here that the colors of the shrink film. So we have here metallic, this is silver and gold. We have clear transparent, but this is inkjet. I think you can print on it. And this is a clear one. This is red one. So fun. Uh, I just, I can't think, die cut some hearts. I'm going to take you through this one. I think I need to do one with, you know, this uh, plain colors and white one. I think there was a black. Anyway, I'm going to do another tutorial using these, uh, you know, plain colors. But now let's go for this one and color them out. So to color them, uh, I'm going to use a, a Fabric Castle uh, markers. This is Artist Pen Big Brush. I can use any marker. So I'm really excited for Gina Lee Kim. We have the nautical theme, feathers, and you know, planets and sun. Love it. Love, love, love. So here, after I color them, I color, I didn't color these. Yes, my son is with me. <laughs> um, because anyway, they are not complete images. So now it's time to cut them. And while I cut them, I will try to leave a wide border. Let me show you. Just let me finish. Okay. Hi, Jibriel. Say hi. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. I want to just leave a white border. Mm -hmm. Then I will go uh, put them in the oven or you can use, uh, what do you call it? A heat tool. So just, uh, there is instructions here. Oh my god! <laughs> yes, there's an instruction here how you, you know, bake it, preheat oven between 3 to 350 degrees, usually about 350 degrees for two for two minutes. So I'll possibly cut all my images and I will come back to you. Okay, everyone, here all, you know, the, the images that I cut it. As I said, I tried to leave um, a white border. I have here an old tray, uh, just this tray, you know, just, you know, for crafting, you know, if I'm gonna wanna bake clay or something. And I have here um, parchment paper. Then I'm going to lay them down like this. I should cut it, you know what, let me cut it. Hmm. 
and I try to use the same parchment paper every time because nothing gonna happen to the mud burn or anything. Okay, so just like this, they will shrink. So it's okay, but still, you need to leave like um, just a little space. Okay. Okay, everyone, here is all my shrink film pieces. They are so cute. Yeah, sometimes there is, you know, you know one or two pieces, you know, will go wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> so let me just zoom in. So cute. Now let me prepare my resin and I will come back and we'll see what we're going to do. Okay everyone, so now my resin is ready and I have my coaster uh, mold uh, or silicone mold coaster. You can, anyway, you can put it in any silicone mold you would like to. So I have these coasters and I'm going to divide my shrink belt. So I want to make coaster in a nautical theme and the other one is uh, with a, you know, succulent uh, theme. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add, you know, a little bit of resin in each uh, coaster. After that, you will find some bubbles. So you will use your heat tool, you know, to, uh, you know, to remove the bubbles or you can uh, use your uh, torch and make sure it's really um, hot. I put like a small a layer of resin because I want my shrink film to stick to the resin because if I fill the coaster or uh, you know the silicone molds uh, with the resin all the, the shrink film will pop up so they will not be inside the resin so we'll have like um, what do you call it not even uh, a resin or coaster so that's why okay so here is uh let me zoom in so this is a theme uh what do you call it? The nautical one. Let's try the the succulents. I love them so much. I love succulents. This is so cute. Oh. Maybe I can put the feathers. Mm. Mm. I don't know. No, I will not put the feathers. So I would give it like three hours and after that I'm going to add the next or the second layer. Okay everyone, so here is after like seven hours. Um, it's still sticky. See, it's still sticky. So I have here my second layer. I will take my heat tool That's it, then I'm going to wait for 24 hours then we're gonna demold it together Okay, everyone, now after 24 hours, let's see them. They are so beautiful. So gently uh, remove 
for demold your resin, uh, your resin, your, uh, what do you call it, silicone. Just I'm going to, uh, what do you call it, paint the edges. I'm not sure, or maybe I can leave it clear. And this is from the back. I love them. I think I'm going to, you know, color all my shank foam and do some coasters. Are you ready? Ta-da! You saw them. <laughs> This is beautiful. Now I'm just thinking, shall I, you know, paint the edges? Like, let me show you like an example. Like, like so. With, you know, uh, how do you call it? With gold ink. But this is more colorful, so. Mm -hmm. 